Today we're going to review the WP Touch WordPress plugin. This plugin is designed to mobile optimize your site for people to uh, read your blog or your uh, WordPress installation on the, from their mobile phone. Um, it's very popular. I think it's widely re regarded as the top uh, mobile optimization plugin out there right now. Uh, you can see it's got almost 4 million downloads at the date of this recording 3.8 out of 5 stars so it's almost in the 4 plus range okay so this is how our, our site looks currently without without the plugin installed you can see that it loads uh, pretty slowly it takes forever especially for this YouTube stuff to load up you can see it's not optimized very well for mobile at all we have this uh, this whole column at the side that you know is where a sidebar used to be it's basically been pushed down to the bottom of our page. So there's our sidebar way down here in the bottom. There's no menu system at the top for anyone to see. You do see my post, but they're only taking up about two thirds of the width. I mean, at the same time, the, the content there within that column has been clipped off. Like this is a YouTube video and it's clipped off the sides. I have no idea how that would look if I hit play right now, but it probably wouldn't be good. Um, so you can see it's just it's just been formatted very oddly. Um, there's an issue up here with my hello bar. Um, the page just really isn't very readable at all. So uh, this is how it looks before and we'll see how it looks after we install this. Okay, now we're going to install this plugin. To install it, you're going to click on plugins, add new, type in WP Touch with no space, and then do a search. Uh, it comes up, you can see it's almost four stars. Go ahead and hit install now. Okay. Then click Activate Plugin. Okay, so you can see that WP Touch is installed. You can go to Settings from here, or you can go to Settings underneath the Settings menu, and then there's a whole tab there now called WP Touch. Now, setting this up is pretty easy. It's pretty much automatically set up by default. Um, you can tell it to uh, display your blog in a different language if you like. Um, there's some home page home page redirection. So if you wanted to create a special home page just for mobile users to see when they first go to your site, you could create one, uh, not necessarily make it visible for regular readers, but then redirect the home page to that um, to that scaled down page or whatever just for mobile users. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that. Um, you can specify a different site title if you want. You can exclude some categories and tags from showing up, which is nice if you have some that are a little too bloated for sale, or you know maybe feature something that's not going to look good on sale no matter what you do. Um, you can change justification to left or full depending on what you like. You know there's a couple different options here for your for your icons. Do you want to show just calendar icons or post thumbnails? I didn't really get this to work, uh, in I couldn't get this to work uh, when I used it. Um, Maybe they'll fix it by the time that you download this. Uh, but this is one of the things that I saw was a little bit buggy. You can put a little footer message here, which I like. Now in the advanced options, there's you know a couple good ones. They're all pretty self-explanatory. You want people to be able to uh, have comments on posts, yes or no. So you can disable comments just for mobile users as opposed to regular users as well. If you don't like the experience that a mobile user is going to have by having that comments feature there posted. Um, so you can look through those. Those are all really good. By default, I think that you know these settings are all pretty good as is. Um, push notifications. This is I don't know. In my opinion, kind of a little silly. I guess it's a, a you know an, an extra feature where they're going above and beyond. Um, you can sign up for an account with Prowl so that when somebody no comments you or tries to send you a direct message through this thing, that it'll ping you on your iPhone. I think it's unnecessary, but you know kind of cool that they're putting some thought into it. You can style your uh, mobile site very slightly with a couple different background images you can pick a different font if you like you can change the colors of the header and whatnot it's very very limited the style options that you have here in the free version one thing that I do like a lot is that you can put in Google AdSense if you do AdSense and you want to monetize your site by putting ads in here you can sign up for an account with Google AdSense and then you just have to click AdSense and put in your um, AdSense codes here, it's super easy. A lot of people don't uh, really realize you can do that, and so they may mo mobile optimize their site, and in doing so, they'll have a mobile optimized site with no AdSense, and then a regular site with AdSense, so they're losing their monetization for all the normal users. 
Um, you can put a static uh, a stat code in here like Google Analytics and whatnot. Very cool. That way it tracks even if people are coming to your site through mobile. And you should understand that this is basically taking the place of your theme for those for those people. So if you've put your analytics code into your main theme, uh, it may not be tracking here when they get diverted to your mobile theme. Okay, so your icons here exist. Basically, I see icons for everything except for Facebook somehow. Uh, I don't really know what that's about, but all right. Um, you can allegedly change your logo here to a couple different things. I couldn't get this to work either, so I don't know what's up with that. You do have uh, the availability to put an RSS menu in there, which is cool. And then all you have to do is click Save Options. So I don't think we actually changed anything. Um, yeah, so I don't think we actually changed anything. We just go ahead and click Save, and it is good to go. Um, one thing to know is that there is WP Touch Pro, and if you want to look at their website, WP Touch Pro at BraveNewCode.com, and there's a link right here at the top of your plugin. If you go to their site, you'll see that there's there's basically a, a much more robust version of this. Because as you saw when we went through the features, there wasn't really much that needed changing, and, and the stuff that you could change to it didn't seem like it was really even that useful. If you come here though, you'll see that. There's a couple different packages that you can get. These other packages will let you uh, dig into a little bit more. It'll let you use ad services other than AdSense, uh, which is cool if you use those. All of them work with multi-site. I like that. You may not know what multi-site is, but if, you, if you've ever used multi-site, you would definitely appreciate that this thing works in multi-site. All of the paid versions include uh, the ability to do custom icons and icon sets, so that's really cool. Hopefully that works in the paid version. You can use custom menus. That's kind of big. In the free version, it pretty much uses your default menu that WordPress generates. Uh, there's not much way around that unless you pay at least 49 bucks for it. Which is, you know, if you have a lot of people coming there on the mobile, it's probably worth the 49 bucks to be honest with you. Let's see what else. iPad theme is included. That's very cool. Multi-level nav menus is very nice, so that you know if you have things nested underneath other menu items, um, those will all show up with an expandable menu. Okay, so. Now we're gonna. Now I'll show you what this looks like with the with the default free installation on my cell phone when we look at our site. Okay, here's what the site looks like on my cell phone now that we have the WP Touch plugin installed. It loaded quite a bit faster. Um, you can see the the uh, poster here. There's not much customization available, but that's just how they look like. Um, so you can click into one of the posts. You can see it loads reasonably fast. It looks it looks formatted pretty well. Uh, you have the comment module and everything. So my issues with how this looks, first of all I guess let's look at the at the individual post page again real quick. Um, first of all you see at the top that there's an issue here with my hello bar plugin. Uh, this is a known issue. There's really no good easy way around it. Um, WP Touch claims to give you the ability to uh, disable plugins for mobile uh, on mobile browsers but it doesn't seem to be there on the free version maybe they're on the paid version uh, I'm not sure um, so the only way to get rid of this right now for me it would be to disable that plugin um, you know I can see things not working right on here but they need to they need to give us an easy way to turn off the plugins for mobile uh, that don't work right so overall I mean this looks pretty good uh, the formatting of it's it's quite nice. Uh, the only complaints that I would have is that some of the stuff doesn't work quite perfectly. We should definitely have the ability to you know to turn off buggy things that um, are causing problems. I've had kind of intermittent luck with this mobile theme on or off button working at the bottom. Hopefully that that's you know hopefully that's working. Um, also had an issue with the floating share bar on my WP Socializer button, just kind of sitting there at the bottom of the page doing nothing. I'd like to be able to turn that off by default. Uh, so, like I said, overall this is pretty good, but you know, I think that there's probably something better out, something better out there. Okay, so overall, um, I'm not overly impressed with the free version of this plugin. I haven't used the paid version, but I think I'd be inclined to get the paid version, uh, honestly, just for the custom menus that they offer. Um, I think that that's worth paying for right there, to be honest with you. Uh, the the plugin makes your site look really well. It, it makes your your post very readable. I do like the way that it conveys itself uh, on the cell phone. I like that it makes your your page load really quickly on a cell phone. Um, a lot of times, you know, a, a regular site that's not optimized for mobile could 
easily take a minute to a minute and a half to load on a cell phone. Nobody's going to wait that long. You need something that's very snappy. And WP Touch does deliver that. So your site loads very quickly on your cell phone. It looks professional, although there's very little, if any, customization available, at least on the free version. So I would say that the free version is okay. I would probably give it three stars out of five. Um, I'm interested to check out the paid version, so I may do a separate review on that. But overall, you know, if you don't have something else going for your mobile, I would say go ahead and get this for today. But let's keep our eyes peeled for something better, or at least look at this paid version to see if that's going to make your site look that much better. So it's worth getting, but you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's the best thing ever, at least not the free version. And that's, uh, that's what we think about WP Touch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.